Every action is measured by the sentiment from which it proceeds. And most guys who are quote unquote no, nice guys aren't actually nice guys. They're guys who have shame. And as a result, they're pretending. They put a veneer. They put a, a face on that's a nice guy, but they're seething on the inside. A lot of guys in the nice guy category, they're being, they, you call these guys, well, they're like simps, right? They're essentially guys who want something when you're talking about women, because there's a big part of it is with regard to women. What they're doing is pretending to be nice so they can get some. These guys are horrible. And I could see them coming from a mile away. And they don't know that they're doing it a lot of times. I remember there was this boy that liked one of my daughters. And so he was trying to be gentlemanly, right? And, you know, and so he wanted to come for dinner. I was like, okay, fine. And the whole time I'm listening to him say nice things to my daughter. And I asked him one question too. I was like, uh, I was like, what is your intention with my daughter? And he looks and he's like, as long as she's happy. I almost threw up on the table. I was like, you are disgusting. You don't even know what you're saying. I was like, that's the, that's the last thing I would ever want to hear a man say that wanted to be with my daughter. You want to give her any whatever she wants as long as she's happy? I was like, wrong answer, buddy. Wrong answer. I know that you have a crush on my daughter and there's something that you want. And then you trying to you trying to trick me? Are you trying to trick us into thinking that you just want her to be happy? That you, but you want there's something you want. And that's what nice guys are. They have ulterior motives. They're guys who have guilt, who have shame, and who have ulterior motives. And they're usually very weak around the women, and they're very usually uncomfortable around other men. A lot of these guys, they say, they say they're more comfortable around women, usually because they were raised by mommies and you know they don't really relate know how to relate to men. Very uncomfortable around men, especially like you know manly men. And so you, you don't want to be a nice guy. You don't want to be a nice guy. Do you want to be charitable like the saints, which means loving the other as other? That's a saintly way of going about it. What is, the, what is the sentiment from which it proceeds? Saints are people who are completely detached from what they're, what they're going to get from any situation, and they're doing everything for ascension. They're, they're totally united with God and everything that they think and do. And so that's a, that's a lofty state to reach for, but that's what we're called, that's what we're called to. And if you can really suffer and unite your sufferings with Christ on the cross and offer it up, at, you, there are merits that are associated with that. You know that as a Catholic, right? So there's good suffering. It's holy suffering. That's why I say to you guys in the program a lot of times, I'll say suffer well, fellas, suffer well, right? It means offer it up. Don't whine, don't complain. And so I think you're on the right path as long as you keep asking yourself, what is the sentiment from which this is proceeding? Am I being nice to this person out of charity, out of love for God? Or am I being nice to this person because I want something or I feel bad? Porn. 68% of church going men watch it secretly, hiding this vice from their wife. For other men, it's alcohol or drug use. Are you willing to risk your marriage, family, and finances for sinful pleasures and vice? Or are you ready to fight back? If you're a married Christian businessman or entrepreneur caught in the clutches of drinking, drugs, or jerking off, realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life. Is this the man God called you to be, to live like this? If you're ready to go to war against vice and take your life back, here's my advice. Click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see if we're a good fit for going into battle together. I'll see you on the inside.